we're here at one of the top 25 haunts in the world. It's Farmageddon. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. I'm Kane Tate. It's time for the ultimate fear fest. Farmageddon. This multi-award winning scare attraction boasts a terrifying four mazes and one zombie experience. The clowns are waiting in contagion. Your primary goal is surviving in the maze of death. Malachi can't wait to meet you in the meat locker. The original mausoleum of mayhem, the beast of terror. If it moves and it's dead, aim for the head in zombie annihilation. And if you're still living to tell the tale, how about a stroll through Freak Street, a sing-along on scary Oki, or a drink at the Zombie Arms? This event is designed to scare, torment, disorientate and invade your mind as your worst nightmares come to life. Your senses are manipulated and your memory will be haunted by the monsters of Farmageddon. Contagion is a 3D maze. So you put your glasses on and you get ready to be scared by the clowns. The clowns are waiting, preying on all six senses and flaunting phobias. Contagion leaves visitors a shadow of their former self. Hungry, vicious clowns take center stage, leaving many clinging to their loved ones for help. Think you can escape with your sanity intact? Think again! So I've just come out of Contagion. Epic. Love it. Great one to start with. The mazes are just so long here. Yeah. I mean, it was a 3D maze. The glasses and the 3D effects in there Whoa. just worked so well. Yeah. Fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. The glasses worked so well in there. The effects are great. The scares was very intense yeah um, they just kept on coming and it was a great introduction to the night what did you think about it Kay? seven out of ten it was great it was the longest walk through I've ever had longer than passenger tarot yeah which is a joke seven out of ten I feel like there's gonna be better ones I oh, feel right. like the, that's it's a great that's start a to the night that's though you really do play well with claustrophobia in amazing, there the, the heights you know you're Phenomenal. crouching to be fair we didn't get a good Run of it like a yeah. Thing. Like we were at the, back. the back. So if you're, at the front, if you're at the front, it's even scarier. What a great first maze. Let's move on to the next Mid one. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Whoa, whoa! Watch it with that. <laughs> next up is the maze oh, of death. death. Your primary goal is surviving. This is one maze you do not want to get lost and take the wrong turn in. Take a walk through the dark and bone-chilling maze of death, complete with cryptic areas that no human should walk through alone. Or are you alone? Be careful not to lose your group, or you may become part of the attraction forever. 
Maze of death. What do you think? Scared the crap out of me. Honestly. It's so dark in there. They've made it so you don't get lost as much. So it's very much more streamlined now. But honestly. I don't know what it is. I just thought that there was stuff in there. I was just like, I didn't expect it to move. And then it just starts like honking and horning. Ripping a chainsaw in your face. Honestly, I genuinely screamed my head off like five times in that maze. It was absolutely crazy. There's death. death. Sean says they have really streamlined it, so you can't really choose your direction anymore. You are guided around it. But what that maze does really well is how simplistic it is, yet so effective. Like the, the use of darkness in there and claustrophobia really makes you sucked into the atmosphere and the environment. You don't know what's coming next because every place feels like you're going around in a circle. It feels like you're coming back to the same place. And so it really does play with your perception. Uh, you don't know if things are real, you don't know if they're not. Um, and it really is a simple yet effective maze. I absolutely love the maze of death. It gave some great scares as it always does. And there was some very good actors in there as well. And yet again, why do they always shout out my name? I don't know, but there's a woman screaming Axel following me. And that kind of maze really does prove that you don't need massive set pieces. You don't need over the top scares to provide really effective, you know, scenes of horror. Very dark, very smoky, smell of petrol, I like that. What were the actors? They just look bloodied up, like they've been mashed up in an um, thing. I think they're all on par with the last one. That's seven again. Seven again. Seven again. Nice. Like, Anything that blew my mind, Jim. Yeah. One thing that I absolutely love about Farmageddon is the Roman scare actors. They are great at what they do. They provide some epic scares and they have some of the best Romas in the country. Just take a look at some of this. Good evening. Whoa. I think Kane's uh, made a friend over here. I can't tell if it's because she's a zombie and she's a woman. Probably both. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Next up, it's the zombie war zone. This event is extra per person. If you do pay for it online, then I think you do get a discount. 
That is £10 per person and you get 120 bullets. If you do want more bullets for the zombies, you can pay £10 for an extra 120 or you can pay £15 for an extra 240 But it's time for Zombie Warfare, new and improved for 2023. If it moves and it's dead, aim for the head. Warzone is the brand new ultimate shoot 'em up zombie takedown experience for 2023. You and your colleagues will take part in a training exercise where you will shoot hordes of zombies to ready yourselves for an imminent zombie apocalypse. With uncertainty amongst the sinister global superpowers, the Warzone training protocol will prepare you for the imminent threat of a global zombie plague. As gatekeepers to humanity, it's your duty to protect yourselves and your families by partaking in this unique training exercise here on the wastelands of Farmageddon. Remember soldiers, if it moves and it's dead, aim for the head. It is time to fight as they are here now, and this is your last stand for humanity. And one of the worst things about it was I was right off to the left. All of the zombies were over to the right and I couldn't turn my gun. So I was, I was stuck there shooting at like one or two zombies. And then by the time that they were all on the left, I'd run out of paintballs and I'm not paying another tenner. Overall, I thought I really didn't enjoy it as much as I normally did. It's still pretty cool, don't get me wrong. Try and sit in the middle when you're gonna sit anywhere. But I thought it was a bit naff to be honest. I was really a bit, a bit upset that they'd taken away the old um, the whole tractor, that was most of the fun. Like the zombies didn't fall down when you shot them. They, like, you know, you, you sort of had to just assume that you've hit some of them because they're, they're too far away and it's quite dark, so you can't tell. Like, it's still pretty cool shooting paintballs at zombies, but it was just like, you know, it was much better last year. Love it, the bullets went flying. I can't remember. I never shot a paintball good in my life. I shot people in the face, I saw it. I feel bad. I was like, oh, I shoot them. Like, oh my god, sorry. I feel bad. I don't like shooting people in the face. You know, the zombies. I mean? They need to be shot. I know, but still, like that's got to hurt. That many. <laughs> shooting them in the belly and all that. And shooting them, I'd be like, oh god, I'm sorry. So the zombie warfare. It is an upcharge attraction. Uh, obviously, you spend ten pounds extra when you are booking it online. And obviously Kane's never been, he's never done this experience before. So we understand if you're a first time first time to this event, it probably is a really good, unique attraction yeah. for you. That said though, I've been before, Sean's been before, and it is a new for 2023 experience in the way that they've changed it. You don't go around on a tractor anymore. It is a static experience. There's eight waves, zombies come out uh, on each wave, and obviously you have to shoot them. I, to be honest, I didn't really enjoy it that much as opposed to other years. If I'd never done it before, I probably would have enjoyed it. Um, but I just think that it's a massive downgrade compared to what they've done in the past. I loved how unique it was. He was on the trailer of a tractor. He was driving around, shooting people as they come out. You had pyrotechnics and things. And I think that it just being static, it really takes away from that experience. You know, they try to tell a story with voiceovers here and there throughout, which is great, but you know, I don't like it. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really rate that one. Um, I wouldn't I, pay to do it again. I wouldn't pay to do it again. If I come next year and it's the same as this year, I wouldn't pay to do it again. I want you to bring the tractor back because that really made it special rather than being in one place. It's time for the Miami, the Mega Motion. Let's go. The motion. The 
sidekick here at Farmageddon is by Silcox Fairgrounds. We've only got two rides here, which is the sidekick, which is the Mega Motion, and the Walsers. Now, the Walsers lighting and smoke package looks absolutely amazing. We've not been on a Mega Motion in ages, so we just thought that we had to do that of one of the two. It's five pounds per ride. The cycle's three and a half minutes, which was great. Uh, absolutely loved it. Two thumbs up for me. How do you feel about it, Kane? I have been on a Miami in seven, eight years, and God, hey, you go one way, it worked out in tents. You go the other way, my oh. back's going mad, I'm going out my seat, mate. That was, that was amazing, I loved it. Next up, the meat locker. Malachi can't wait to meet you. Enter the meat locker and become prey to Malachi Throne's evil whim. An evil spirit whose hunger for flesh knows no bounds. When visitors enter the meat locker, they will be processed. Some will be chosen. And in the event, everyone squeals in the land of pigs. The butcher is king. All hail Malachi! <laughs> Guys, look at that! Oh, that shit was so good. That is very hard to review. That's the best scare maze I've ever done in my entire life. I run back to my brother. He's still there, but I say, yo, that was scary. I don't. It's hard to review because it was so good. That is better than any scare maze I've ever done ever. Why? What stood out to you? You kept jumping out, coming out of nowhere, and too good, mate. I'm on edge still. <laughs> I'm not in there anymore. I'm on edge. I've lost my voice. I went in there with a voice. It's gone now. <laughs> Mate, there was a guy, fuck, I, I, I was convinced that was a prop. And he moved. I, I, I had a heart attack. The voice is gone. Go on, Axel, what do you the think? Meat Locker, we've saved that as our penultimate maze of the night. What really stands out to me in there is the set pieces. They are scaring to the next level. One that stands out to me is like um, where you put the, a pole to a pig and it spins around, except there's a human there. There's, there's different scenes that's below, above you, really confined spaces. You know, the actors get in your face. It's no old bard, it feels like, in there. The sets are next level. The scares are amazing. And it is literally non-stop fear. The Meat Locker is an amazing, um, maze here at Farmageddon and yet again in 2023 is lived up to what it was last year. I absolutely love the Meat Locker. So the story of it as well, Malachi is going to get you and believe what it was, me, I yeah, it out. believe me, you don't want to witness Malachi. Absolutely mint, that one. Scarier than last year. I've got a guy with a chainsaw at the end, I had to like sprint out of there, he like cornered me. I'm it. pretty sure I accidentally got him in the face, because I was like that. I just like smacked him as I was running. Not hard, but I felt his mask. Um, oh my god. Like, I don't know what it is, but like that really scared me, that one. Like, it was so freaky, so claustrophobic. And like, I kept looking behind me, and then there was just someone there. So like it was really freaking me out. Here at Farmageddon this year they do have the electric chair challenge. Which Kane is gonna have a go. Electric chair challenge is new here at Farmageddon for 2023. There was three levels from what I understand. How did it feel? Number one gets my arms. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You see my mommy and daddy? I haven't. You see my mommy and daddy. <laughs> Hello. I, I haven't seen them. Oh, oh. Right, level one. Got my arms going a bit enough for vibration. Number two, my entire arms and a bit of my body. Number three, I'll let you go. 
the body shot up, mate. <laughs> you never know what to expect here. Hello, Jason. Are you having a good night? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take your silence as a yes. That's how he talks, doesn't he? <laughs> I think I'll slowly back away. I'll slowly back away. The Beast of Terror is the original mausoleum of mayhem and has been consistently reinvented. Now the haunted house is a mansion of trapped demonic souls featuring a labyrinth of corridors, crypts, caverns and many of your worst nightmares. Visitors are asked to stick together, keep heading forward and maybe they will make their way through the labyrinth and live to tell the tale. The Beast of Terror, we have saved the best till last, is literally you walking through a horror movie. It's relentless, the scares keep on coming. It is literal non-stop fear. What I will say is the size of the sets in there, the scale of them, they are absolutely massive. The animatronics. It, Massive animatronics, there's massive sets. You know, it is next level. It's probably the best maze in the UK, in my opinion. <laughs> hey, Sean, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Beast of Terror. It's fun. The best maze in the UK. The sets, the scale, the scares, elevated. Amazing. I agree. You agree? What maze do you live in? I just wander around, have a fabulous day. Yeah. Scare a few souls. I'm a ginger. I've got to take a few because I don't have any. <laughs> you know, daily business. Yeah, fair enough. You're a wandering lost soul. I wonder. <laughs> With magic. Woohoo! <laughs> Mwah! Bye, Sean! Beast of Terror. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Best maze in the UK. Just for the pure size of it. The sets. Amazing. Loved it. <laughs> that was terrifying. The first, the first like minute of it just absolutely shook me to the core. You go into this room and there's a big animatronic and it's still, and then that started moving and that made me jump. And then I turn around and there's just like a demon there, and I just, I like, I screamed for like ten whole seconds, right? And then they were screaming in my face, and I've just gone round the corner and there's another one there. Honestly. It's absolutely amazing. The set is brilliant. The, the props, the actors, like the way they play with the, the whole, like, is that person a prop or is it an actor? Do you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, absolutely shook. Like, there was one bit when there was a guy dead on the floor and I was like, he's not real. Next thing you know, boom, it's just like crawling towards me. It's, I've run past you. And it's just like every time I look around, he's getting closer, and I'm just like running. And then I run into another room, and you two are miles behind. And there's just a clown there, just like. Ah, ah. What did you like, say to the clown, that. Axel? You don't belong yeah. here, you belong yeah. in the other maze. In Contagion. What did he say? I'm lost. No. I'm lost. <laughs> definitely. Saved. I'm lost. That was definitely that one. saved the best till last. Oh, I got real jump scares. Like, not that you go through these easy, you want to be scared. These things are really jump scare in Creeping through like this. And then you think it's a prop. It's a person, mate. You run, you mash into a wall. And you're a wrist I'm in pain. I'm in walls, doors. Almost tripped over. Million out of ten. Million. And that brings our night here at Farmageddon to a close. Farmageddon's always a great night. Beasts of Terror stood out for me. 
next all the to mazes the were meat brilliant. locker. Yeah, all, all the mazes them. were brilliant as per usual. To be honest, I can't fault any of the mazes. I thought that the zombie paintballing was a little bit disappointing compared to what it was last year. But all of the mazes were just as scary. All of the romas were just as scary, just as interactive. You know, great atmosphere, good music. Uh, loads of entertainment, just an all-round brilliant night. We've been here since seven. We're leaving at eleven. I'm absolutely knackered, but it's yeah, well sure. worth. Like you know, it's a great night and it's a great laugh, and you know, it never disappoints. True, the atmosphere here at Farmageddon is always amazing. It's a massive event. You have every single maze has great attention to detail. Yeah. It's fantastic from the sets to the costumes and the props. The nothing Romans, is missed, nothing the is Romans. overlooked, and that's what stands out and what it's makes this event special, the Romas. What was your 20. highlight of the night? The Romas, I love the Romas, and they put the Romas to shame at the last one. They had like five amazing Romas at the last one. What was there eight? 20, 30 20. amazing Romas, all interacting with you, all making you feel... Chasing that, people that around. On yeah. edge, mate, get you on edge. This puts every Halloween thing I've ever done to shame. It's phenomenal. Sean, uh, highlight, highlight of the night for me is definitely the Beast of Terror, is it? Yep. Yeah, Beast of Terror was the highlight of the night. Oh, that was a beast. Best Same attraction. One of the best mazes in the UK these days. Absolutely fantastic. Same here. My highlight of the night here is always the Beast of Terror in terms of mazes. And then the Romas, the Romas are what really make this event well, special. Good. That being said, my name's Axel. I'm Sean. Kane Tate. And we'll see you in another, another video. video.